it's nice out here. I remember, like, the last time I came out here, you had to, like, dodge broken glass everywhere in the beach. <laughs> here we are on Coney Island on a scorching hot day. It's beautiful. We're all sweating. And when you're in Coney Island, you think of the beach. You think of hot dogs. Mm. Really good. You want the other half of this? But when you are in Coney Island and you are talking about pizza, you think of Totono's. Not only is it one of the country's best pizzerias, but it's a big part of the New York story of pizza. Totono's hasn't changed a bit since 1924, and that's thanks to Anthony Perro's family who's carried on the tradition. Antoinette and Cookie, Perro's granddaughters, have dedicated their lives to the business. The minute I walked in, I was greeted by Antoinette, immediately invited to a birthday party for their longtime friend, Victor. He's like a fixture here. They call him Tiger. Who also goes by Tiger, and offered a slice of cake. This is truly the definition of a family business. Look what I'm doing. Victor, you're old, Victor. Can we borrow you to sing happy birthday? We'd like to... Oh, you're kidding. Today? Yeah. Come on, Vic, throw it out. There you the go. Ball. The only thing that's consistent here is the pizza. <laughs> Happy birthday, baby doll. There's people coming in the door. We got Victor's birthday going on right now. We have another little girl's birthday. There's pizzas flying out of the oven. And there's a pizza waiting for me. This okay. looks amazing. So now do you want anything on it? Like cheese, extra cheese, or? Rum? I'm going to do it just like this. Just like this here. I want you to eat it when it's hot. Wow. It's delicious. The pizza is delicious. Ah, well, I think you're a connoisseur, so I... No, it is. It's different. It's not the same. It has a different quality. Like, the, the dough itself, it's like, it has a little bit more consistency to it. And, like, you could really taste the tomatoes and the cheese and that, like, sharpness. Is there another hard cheese on there besides mozzarella? You're asking a question. That's not allowed here. When you come over there, there's no question. You oh, eat... would you pass that line? You... No more no, questions? No, All right. That's Zip. It. I'm done. <laughs> What does it feel like to be talked about in that light as a legend? Your grandfather literally was the pizzaiolo at Lombardi's, the first pizzeria on the books. My emotions tell. Like, right now, you mentioned grandfather, and I cry because it just stirs up feelings that I can't explain. So he was a baker in Naples, Italy. And he came over on a boat. I think it was the Margarita. And he worked for Lombardi and opened his own pizzeria. And then he came here in 1924, and we are the oldest continuously run family-owned pizzeria in the world. Wow. So we're here in this location, 92 years. Cookie makes fabulous pizza. Okay. Mommy always said that women make the best pizza, but she really is passionate. This place could never survive if it weren't for her. She doesn't want any changes, and I have to respect that. This is the infamous Cookie, the love of my life. Did you get my card? What card? I sent you a beautiful card. She said she's all talked out. That's about it. <laughs> I mean, we did so many TV shows and everything, and I just keep on saying the same thing all over and all over. I'm tired of it. <laughs> Are you like your mother and you like your father? I'm like my father. You're like your father? Yeah. And say what you say all the time. Cookie, <laughs> tell us something different. Tell us something nothing that different. you want to get out there. Nothing different. I'm telling you. There's nothing great about different, right? When you got the good old classic, you stick with that. That's it. Do you ever critique the pizza men? I know Mike has been here making pizza forever. Well, I'm confident in Michael now, but yeah. you know, at the beginning, yes. It's hard work. And he's been with you guys for 12 years yeah. now. Yeah. Yay, Mike! Woo! Michael. There he is. She Stop. calls him Michael. She calls him Michael. I love it. I love that oven is beautiful, and it looks like that peel. He's been using that same peel for this, for this same hundred years. This oven right here has been making pizza since 1924. The old lady. Honestly, like, until I got comfortable working with the oven, because it's a coal-fired oven, each couple of inches is like a, a, a different temperature, just a whole different feel to it. And you have to basically dance the pie around. And honestly, every day I, I think I'm learning something, even at this stage of the game, you know? The fact that your sister and you were able to carry it on the same uh, level that your father and your grandfather ran it at is, to me, it's like a, 
It's like every, every father's dream come true, you know? We just keep this going because this is our passion and it's like a constant roller coaster. Yeah. And it's constant fantasy land. And I just love being from Coney Island Baby. That's so awesome. we are the true Coney Island Babies. Michael, did I give you cake? <laughs>